I like to speak to you on this possibility. The possibility is this, that there is a sense of dare and peril, an uncertainty too long uh, have made people take risks. This is true for adults as well as kids. They lost lives during the pandemic and many uncertain things, even fake things were launched and it has become now an after reaction in the lives of people. People try risk, thrill, uh, sexual thrills and immorality more frequently than they would have before. It is recorded that male prostitution has drastically gone up in Sri Lanka. It's not only the economic downturn, but also the uncertainty of times. And there is an unhealthy uh, doubt or suspicion about what authorities say and so on. This includes the health authorities because so many conflicting science reports came out of the pandemic. Secondly, the uncertainty of two years created a psyche of who cares try, see, experiment, dare, we had to find new ground. Uh, then came the struggle. Uh, then came the Gen Z's really taking onto the streets, which has happened in other countries. In other ways, Black Lives Matter and pulling down statues of former nation heroes. And this, so the protest mode is very popular, which casts aspersions and doubt of anything and everything and an in a very unhealthy intergenerational mistrust. Uh, fourthly, life became a gamble, don't know who will survive, so just live for the day. Uh, infidelity is rampant, just live for the day. Whatever comes is right. This thing is in the air. It has polluted the airwaves and there's hot gas and hot dust in the air that seemingly infiltrates young minds and kids as well. Fifthly, kids sense a new uneasiness. They absorb risk, no more certain, hard work pays anymore in an uncertain world. Uh, so it, it's life is a gamble, try and see, if not change and see, send us to some better country. We are no more responsible for our studies of a good results to achieve a good end because you have made everything uncertain they will tell the adult generation. Uh, this is why all institutions must consider a kids' parent de-stress seminar. I've done this for banks and so on. I'm Dr. Lajman and this, my last uh, academic post was as head of department of uh, pharmacology. Uh, so uh, before many other things go wrong, we need to find some way of Give me a minute. Some way of uh, recovering sense of dignity and responsibility, accountability, and recover trust in the family unit. If you keep blaming the governments and politicians, you're only doing yourself a disservice because your kids also will make you one of those politicians one who has power and authority at home, or your juniors will make you like that. You have to become a benefactor that God made uh, in the image of the Good Shepherd. This is what people are looking for, benefactors who can be trusted. When systems fail, your personal integrity matters, and what your kids hear from you at home definitely matters, and how you attend on your immediate staff is vitally important in a fractured society you have to become the glue the reconciling cementing glue and for this you need the good shepherd in your life you need his staff and he promises my sheep hear my voice more than ever before once upon a time you could blame each other and get away but the buck now stops with you in your area of influence as I said, I am Dr. Lal Mendes. I have done many seminars on this. Please send a WhatsApp to 0742115011. If you are in Sri Lanka, if you are abroad, please send the WhatsApp to 
plus 94-74-211-5011 for similar clips and for follow-up clips on this subject. Uh, I have done many lectures on academically and also for other institutions on the digital screen and the effect of the pixel screen on brain tracks and learning curriculum and so on. I'm modifying that lecture now to make it a kid's parent de-stress seminar because so many psychiatric consultations now are with under 19. There's a plethora and great increase of the kind of uh, convoluted problems they get into. And as you know, di digital challenges offer uh, attempts at suicide and they cut themselves and all that. Some of you may be familiar with it. But I'm addressing things before they get more, more worse. I'm available for, for, available for consultation free of charge every Friday. I'm at our Columbia Empathic Learning Center in, in uh, Leslie Ranagal Marvata. You can, uh, you, we, we really want parents to come and own the kids' problem. Often when things are okay, dad plays hero. But now dad be needs to become a champion of a boy or girl gone wrong. Unfortunately, when kids get into trouble, it becomes mother's subject, mother's subject, and fathers tend to avoid it. But fathers need to be the hero because they are looking for someone who can give them significance. So father gives them belonging and identity. Father gives them worth and value every day. It's not only studies and good reports, which are very good, but you have to give them worth and value in some way. And then you have to give them significance and influence in their area of whatever they do. Uh, if not, they will get into danger zones just to look heroic. So you have to daily plan a, a step up, a stretch up, and a spring on uh, so that they, you connect with them where it really matters to them. Uh, sixthly, the people are also trying their luck and their gut the way politicians have done, done blindly. So no point we blaming them, especially in the hearing of your children. Don't blame the systems and structures because they begin to think they are without any hope and they will say send us to some country which is not a, a good expedition with no qualification. Uh, so somehow get them to achieve their A-level and get them into a vocational trap. Uh, you have to speak peace, particularly at mealtimes, speak a good future. Shepherds in all fields can and must take all this uh, uh, to, to, to as solution providers, not uh, rubble, rub, rubble rouses. You have to keep your conversation at mealtime and at different home situations peaceable and offering hope. Without hope, our kids become very gloomy and they resort to the digital screen like a sedative, but it actually, it acts like cocaine. So, uh, learned articles have called the effect of the pixel screen as electronic cocaine. I have done many lectures on this. I can send you some very detailed lectures and graphics, but this evening's little talk from my heart to every parent was, and even to young people, please do a kid's parent connect and a reconciliation, how you face up to a rapidly um, destructured world. And you know, all kinds of things are happening with the banking system also, as you know, it's economically, politically, morally, and geophysically throwing up problems. Then the home unit has to be strong enough to absorb the rapid unpredictable changes and with God on your side, the first father, every father and every mother can build up a resistance structure that can be immune to outside trouble. Keep your, keep your home and your children's future a safe haven. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Lalit Mendes and my app is called Golden Nuggets. It's available free of charge from App Store and Google. Golden Nuggets. Thank you for listening.